He gets mad. He gets mad. Dude. He's fucking <laughs> he's mad. He just fucking runs at me. Like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Trying to steal it, bro. Like, I just I can't get in their heads at all. I don't. I just don't understand. Like, fuck this. This can't be the play. Where's the, where's the double edge, bro? The fuck? Right, oh, hold on. He died to fucking tree. He's throwing at me. Well, I guess he just died. <laughs> they do not have a strike. Just GG. Man, they, they just give away Roche, right? I don't think I'm bad. Oh, I'm gonna Lots of presents. And then these are extras. And then I oh, have... Just extras. And then, oh no, this is a must pack for Clinton. And then I have uh, There's another box upstairs that I sent to these. Uh, Both extras? Actually, you can... Same girl. Why did you kill yourself here? That sounds like a plan to me. Okay. It's not very nice. <laughs> Alright, so today was more of the same. We just basically scrimmed, practiced, watched the matches, and prepared for our match against Complexity, and then either Team Liquid or Virtus Pro following that. Nothing too exciting. Not much to vlog, but in case you missed today, uh, James Harding, the host for the Shanghai Major, was fired along with the production team. The production team is the one who ran the Nanyang Championships earlier this year. Uh, they just, there was so, so many problems with uh, both of them that Valve decided that they both had to go. And now there's this gigantic drama, you know, of course, you know, if something like this happens, there's going to be tons of discussion. And everyone's really upset that James Harding got fired. I, I'm upset too because it, it is pretty unprofessional that, you know, we're running this event and we just had to, or Valve had to fire both of him and... The production staff it's like really disappointing there's been so many delays and problems and it really makes like our game and what we're doing here look bad which is unfortunate for everyone involved uh, but um one thing i just want everyone to remember is that your opinion like hardly matters in all of this it's if, if you don't realize this valve has total control it's like a monopoly they will decide what they want to do, when they want to do it, how they want to do it. They don't listen to really anyone but themselves. They care about the community and they want what's best for everyone, but if they think something is best, then they're just going to do it. And that's something that, you know, I can respect because they have had multiple successful games on their incredibly successful platform. And they seem like a company that is kind of, they're just going to do what they think is best and they're just going to run with it. So. Gabe is uh, an unbelievable person and he's accomplished so much in his life that he can pretty much do whatever he wants. If he wanted to remove Dota and Steam from you know the internet and move to, move to and buy a private island, he could. So let's not forget that um, Valve is our all-powerful overlord in all of this and um, it's okay to speak ill about them and it's okay to have an opinion and think bad of them, but do remember that um, they are the ones enabling all of this. They're enabling my life, they're enabling your ability to be a fan. Um, who knows where Dota would be these days without Valve, so um, let's just think that if, if Valve doesn't want James Harding to be their host, then that's absolutely their right, and um, don't think that James is totally innocent in all of this. It's obvious that he was definitely warned about his behavior on stream and then continued to um, do those things before um, he was fired. It's not like he was fired out of the blue. Um, it really sucks. I like James, he's a good person, he is a very ambitious individual and um, you know he does like to do his own thing, he doesn't really take no for an answer so he came in here trying to be himself and you know you can appreciate that but him being himself just isn't what Valve wanted to be for the face of their major and that's their call. Um, so moving forward, tomorrow is our last practice day, we're going to get a couple more scrims in and then the following day we start our matches bright and early at 9am against Complexity. I'm feeling good about our chances. I think that uh, we are practicing and this little mini boot camp before the tournament has actually been incredibly helpful. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. I think we're going to do okay and I, I would like to think that we're going to make it through to the winner's bracket. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.